everyone. I hope you are doing well and welcome to the WebLens channel. In this session, we are dedicated to people interested in pursuing a career in the Odoo domain, especially in ERP, Enterprise Resource Planning. This is particularly useful for interns or the junior working in Odoo field. Let's start by understanding what Odoo is and then discuss the various job positions available in the Odoo domain. Odoo is an ERP resource planning software that offers a shoot of all-in-one application including CRM, sales, purchase, inventory, manufacturing, point of sale, human resource, website functionality and many more features. The name Odoo stands for On Demand Open Object. Odoo primarily uses the Python as its backend language and JavaScript as a front-end language. It follows its own model view controller MVC structure. The great thing about Odoo is that it's open source, which means you can access the source code for free. There is also an Odoo Enterprise version available for the paid, which offers the advanced feature compared to the community version. As of now, Odoo has its latest version, which is 17th version, and this week already launched, and each year, they release a new Odoo version with new features and improvements from both functional and the development perspectives. Now let's talk about the different job positions in the Odoo domain. I have categorized the main job positions. You can choose the one that aligns with your interest and the skills. The good news is even if you are not a technical person and there are functional jobs also available such as business analyst, BA or sales or the DevOps. Let's discuss each of these roles one by one. The first position we are exploring is the backend development. In this role, you should have a good understanding of Python language, preferably not just a basic but also some intermediate knowledge. If you have advanced Python skill, that's even better. Odoo provides object relational mapping ORM framework which is the backend framework and this framework is written in Python. Here are the Odoo topics you should be familiar with in this position. So basic Odoo, let's say the installation and configuration of Odoo, creating a different types of views, designing actions and menus, how to utilize inbuilt ORM methods and custom methods, using existing widgets efficiently, configure incoming and outgoing email and create a email templates understanding the sql statements right then after generating the pdf report using the qweb template engine testing using the yaml or other tools handling module migration from one odoo version to another odoo version including the database migration also ensuring security and working with external apis leveraging Odoo's inbuilt features and lastly learning how to use Odoo SH or set up Odoo online or the different cloud servers. So this is the basic functionalities you should know as a backend Odoo developer. Second position is front-end development. In this role you should have a good understanding of HTML5, CSS, Bootstrap and the JavaScript. This is the basic skill. Odoo uses a front-end framework known as a web client and oval Odoo web library. Topics you should be familiar with in this position includes, as I said, let's say the HTML5, CSS, SCSS, Bootstrap and the JavaScript. This is the basic one. Plus point would be basic knowledge of Python and the Odoo backend for the data exchange because you need at least Odoo setup how to use inbuilt methods, right, of the ORM methods. So due to that, in this position, you should also know the basic Odoo framework, working with the web client, creating a custom widgets, handling assets, developing a dynamic dashboards, point of sale development, website development, and in the website development, including themes and the dynamic custom snippets. So this is the second position. The third position is DevOps. In this role, you should have a good knowledge of cloud platform and their tools, right? In case 
you are not confident in the development side but you are good in the networking side right networking and the server related stuff you can choose the DevOps this is the cream job position in all the IT industries you should have a cloud knowledge of AWS GCP or the other cloud service providers right not all but at least one you should also know about Odoo setup and the configuration especially the CLI commands Odoo configuration files docker kubernetes database monitoring nginx postgres configuration and the sql statement and automation so let's say the fourth position is business analyst as a business analyst you should have a good understanding of Odoo's functional aspects such as crm sales purchase inventory manufacturing rental b2b b2c features human resource and project management and many more features which is supported by odoo plus basic technical knowledge of odoo it would be plus point and extra would be the business intelligent tools bi tools which is especially for the reporting purpose and the excel knowledge let's say in this position if you don't want to go to the development side or in the devops position you have also one more position which is this one then as a business analyst the fifth position is the sales in this role you should have a strong sales skill and the basic understanding of odoo's functional flow so that you can work independently without relying on the others and the sixth position is the full stack developer so as a full stack developer you should have a both backend and the front end development skill as i discussed earlier this position is highly demanded in the odoo career here some general information that applies to all the positions here some general information that applies to all the positions so here first you can register a free account sign up this free account in odoo.com to access a many things such as you can purchase a paid or free modules which is out of box you can see here right after that if you have any query related technical or functional supports from the odoo you can directly create a tickets from here right if you have a subscription code for your for your client you can directly use that one right you can just raise the query and you can just choose a specific ticket type and uh, describe the steps and uh, if you have attachment you can attach the files so this is odoo forum is available which is officially handled by odoo and uh, here you can ask questions to create a new post right as a technical or functional with the examples it would be good also to provide the tags right and uh, and someone knows from the odoo community they will give you the answers this person asked the question and here the odoo community members try to provide the possible answers right you can also vote the answers using plus or the minus so let's say if you stuck anywhere first thing is try to try to create a new post from here right here then after it's generate one url just copy this one and you can also search in the linkedin in the you can just find the odoo as a group and you can see here that there are many groups available for the odoo you can paste here and you can ask the help not only in the linkedin in the facebook as well as right there are a lot of odoo groups is available with the different region wise not only the two telegram channel also available you can also ask and uh, there is a whatsapp groups also available i will share the links if it is active right and if it is not active that link which i mentioned in the description please comment on the below so i will also give you the latest link right and you can also follow this weblands channel in the whatsapp for the latest update so yeah like let's say if you stuck right and you can just raise the question from here odoo official forum you can just uh, share that link to the social media and definitely someone will get back to you please also don't expect they will get back to you within a few minutes it will take us some time based on the questions 
all right the next one is the knowledge you can see your own dashboard and you can try to get the course which is freely available here right and you can see also the documentation is also available for the technical as well as the functional right you can also take certification of the different Odoo versions and one more thing is Odoo also provides official YouTube channel so make sure you can also subscribe this channel here you can see this last week Odoo experience is launched and uh, you can also visit this view full playlist and choose the specific session based on your interest next one is the migration you can see here Odoo also supports migration from different hosting on premise Odoo SH and Odoo Online so let's say if you have a Odoo version 15 and you want to migrate into Odoo 17 so this URL would be very helpful the next one is the Odoo asset this is the hosting server provided by Odoo right and one more is the Odoo online and the next one would be the if you want to download Odoo specific version from the github you can directly choose from here right also you can choose from the website also for the different operating system a uh, good thing is Odoo also provides a test server which is called runbot here you can choose the specific version of the Odoo and you can choose the demo you can choose the functionality and here let's say if I'm going to choose the version 17 I will try to log in and all have a same username and password like you email is admin and password is also admin you can see like this the apps is available so now you have a better understanding of the job positions available and how you can also leverage from the Odoo's website. If you are interested in further learning the Odoo, right, visit the WebLens channel in the YouTube. In the playlist section, you can see Odoo development tutorial is this playlist available. And this is the main playlist of the Odoo. But let's say if you want to review the topic wise, then you can just choose the specific topic. Like let's say CLI commands. You can see the most useful CLI commands then after how you can also use the different fields the data types of the Odoo you can also use this playlist for the Odoo's default ORM methods and how to create a custom methods you can also use this playlist then after you can see this is the basic Odoo examples which is not covering this main Odoo then after the special commands the data files how to set up the Odoo it's in the Odoo setup it's having a different operating system setup the all the views supported by Odoo you can visit this playlist then after Odoo security tut tutorial is available how you can also inherit the views then after there is a one more live example you can use the deposit management system as an example especially for the technical purpose right how you can create pdf reports using the qweb template engine how you can also create the portal development how to translate one language to another language using the odoo language in the different ways the email templates how you can create using the qweb template engine or the jinja2 template engine right then after the oval library then after the context the integration part of the Odoo using the XML RPC. This is the point of cell development tutorial. And this one is very most useful, most demanded tutorial. Let's say the Odoo debug mode tutorial. So you can choose the specific one or choose the main playlist. Soon Odoo 17 also I will launch. Additionally, check out this community tab where you will find the technical and functional interview questions to help you prepare for job interviews so once you are free just choose the community tab try to improve your technical and functional knowledge now the main thing is how to apply a job which we discussed right 
using the Odoo official website. So there is a one simple step is there. You can just go to the Odoo right. After you can see, you can see here the partners, right? Find the partner and it will redirect to the official partners available in a different region. So here my region is India, but you can choose your region which you want to apply and you will find the different companies here. The good thing is when you click to the any company profile, you can see here the company address, the mobile number, the website and the email is also available. So here the best thing is you will get all the informations from here. Try to search from the LinkedIn profile here. Try to search that uh, company's profile, right? And if you're confident, you can directly contact to the HR team. I hope this information helps you make an informed choice about your career in the Odoo domain. Best of luck with your career aspiration.